And here we go. Okay. If you missed it yesterday, my father received a delivery of Trinary Toast from Trinary Home Bakery in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And he said he could not have any last night because it has to wait till the morning. And lo and behold, like a child at Christmas, he got up too early. <laughs> and I, I, I missed... <laughs> I missed the dunking of the Trinary toast with the butter melting on it. So we'll just recap. This is the Trinary toast, okay? Make sure you butter on a cinnamon side. Cinnamon side has been buttered. So I butter the opposite side. <laughs> My mom butters the opposite side. All right. So, and when I say butter, I mean butter like now lay it on. No margarine, no fake substitute, okay? Real dairy butter, okay? So thick coating of butter on the Trinary toast, fresh cup of Nespresso brewed here. And this is a hard piece of cinnamon sugar toast that came from Trinary, Michigan. And I believe this is sort of like the Finnish version of biscotti in Italy the finished version so the bakery makes the bread they coat it with butter and cinnamon sugar and toast it so it becomes hard as a rock <laughs> hence the cup of joe and so my dad is going to demonstrate and then I will try this for the very first time in my life Make sure you have a cup that's wide enough. You don't want a narrow cup because sometimes they won't fit. <laughs> so when you dunk it in, Trinary put it toast in problems. About one inch down into the coffee. Pull it up immediately because it already soaked up the coffee. Hold and, it up higher. And then just place it in your mouth. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Still crunchy. You can't beat this. I'm telling you, it's good. And this is my third one for the day. <laughs> Give it back then, it's fine. <laughs> okay, here I go. Other end. <laughs> We've been living together for several weeks, so social distancing has been thrown out the window in this house. Sorry. Okay, down it went. Oh. One inch. Oh. Out of the coffee. I almost messed it up already. Okay, first time. Actually, this is my first cup of coffee in a really long time. I kind of gave it up because I drink dessert. I don't drink black coffee, but I'm going to do this. Hi, Ashley. Ashley Stetson. That's my cousin. <laughs> Hi, Ash. Love you. Mmm, that's really good. <laughs> that's yummy. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Well, this is the same as drinking dessert, right? It's not really like I'm drinking black coffee because I can only eat it if I dunk ternary toast in it or put sugar and lots of fat in it. <laughs> <laughs> so, any coffee drinkers out there like black? Hi, Chris. Chris LeClaire says hi. <laughs> hi, Chris. <clears throat> So my parents have escaped the cold Upper Peninsula, Michigan weather and um, joined us about three weeks ago. They escaped the coronavirus stay at home order in Michigan and we are enjoying a treat. And he's eating the rest of my toast. <laughs> She's my daughter, I can eat her slide too. Hi Michelle. Michelle. Frisk is not from Michigan. What's the temperature up there? I have to say it's kind of nice here. <laughs> mm. No, he's drinking my Nespresso. Have a good day. I know I will. James butters his toast like frosting too, Chris mm. said. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Butter makes everything better. 
Okay, so thank you for joining us. My dad has eaten the rest of my Trinary toast with a thick layer of butter. I'm gonna, you know, save this here. So for all of you who maybe missed the beginning, <laughs> you'll have to go back and watch because my dad demonstrated the proper technique for dunking Trinary toast in black coffee. And I tried it for the very first time. It doesn't have to be black. It doesn't have to be black coffee, but it was really good, <laughs> and I'm not a black coffee drinker, so I've put the uh, the link in the previous video from yesterday, so you all can place your orders to the Trinary Home Bakery in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. What did she say? So what makes what it? What makes it? What makes it special? The it's, cinnamon, the butter, the warm coffee, all of it together, is just unbelievable. Chris asked, does it get soggy? He said, you have to dunk it fast and pull it out. Can't leave it in there very long. It's gotta be it's quick. It in, soaks up the out. coffee. The only thing I have ever, <laughs> okay, this, gets is, this soggy. is what I dunk. This is my dunking skills. Oreos and milk, okay? I like to hold on to the Oreo as long as possible in the milk before it disintegrates and falls apart because it needs to really be soaked. I don't know why, but that's that's my dunking technique for Oreos. The other thing that I dunk is grilled cheese in tomato soup. How you doing, Jer? Hi, Jerry. That's my cousin, Jerry. He's down in the Detroit area, right? Yep. Somewhere there. Yes. James hates soggy. I know, then he has to dunk it fast. He has to dunk it fast. Um, so yeah, grilled cheese and tomato soup, that's the other thing I dunk. Other than that, I'm not a real fan of things dunked in liquid that are supposed to be dry. Hmm. Jerry says hi. That's another cousin. I got a lot of cousins. Ew, not soggy, Cindy says. <laughs> okay, so Trinary Home Bakery, if you like cinnamon and sugar, and butter and coffee. Highly recommended. Um, if y'all are gonna try this, we need to see some follow-up FaceTime lives, FaceTime, Facebook lives, or videos, something. Share with us your experience for trying cinnamon sugar trinary toast dunked in your coffee. You better I'll buy order it. You better buy <laughs> trinary stock after this. <laughs> Oh, let's go ahead. Let's make this viral. Trinary will be so, the Trinary Home Bakery will be so happy. Tina, hi, Tina. Hi, Dean. We just demonstrated what happens when you dunk Trinary toast covered in butter in your coffee. Now, I know that there's people out there who whip um, ghee, which is clarified butter, into their coffee. Um, what do they call that? Bulletproof coffee or something like that? They'll either put, oh, wait a minute, Michelle Elbenga, she puts coconut oil in her coffee along with cinnamon, I think. I'm trying to remember. So she would like this. She would like this. But she tries to be gluten free. Oh. I don't think I saw a gluten free option on the Trinary Home Bakery menu. The best coffee is boiled coffee with that little glass knob on the top. And, and you're Purple waiting for that coffee to get ready. You say, um, it says a, a watch pot never boils. Well, in the morning you say, how does, what's the way, how does it finish? You keep in looking. You keep in looking and it percolates. See, it's never go bloop, bloop. <laughs> <laughs> that is the Finnish accent in full form right there. <laughs> Michelle used to put peanut butter on it. That's what I need to try. Sonia. My mom puts peanut butter. Sonia, a friend of mine who I graduated with, she said she does the same thing. So I'll try that one next. Maybe James would like peanut butter, Chris. <laughs> Michelle says it's the best. Okay, we'll have to do another follow-up. You guys, I cannot. The carb thing right now. This is like carb fest in my house. We have erected a bread tower. I didn't even have bread before they got here. <laughs> this is a problem. <laughs> Cindy, I love your dad, hilarious. Okay, repeat that phrase again. The percolator. 
a watch pot never boils, you keep in looking in the percolate, see it's never go bloop bloop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Auntie Laurie does butter and peanut butter. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> That's how Brian makes his peanut butter sandwich. Butter and peanut butter. <laughs> All right, guys. If you don't have ternary toast, sometimes you just put a lump of butter in your coffee anyway. Mm -hmm. Like I said, people do that on purpose. They whip it in there with a little whipper. All right, I have to get to work. So thank you for joining us for our morning ternary toast and coffee. And we'll just see what else we can come up with for the future. Cook us a minute. Finish for. Goodbye. Goodbye. See it again. Cook us a minute. Cook us a minute. I'm finished. <laughs> okay, see ya.